Phil Fern here with my first live Pegman lecture. In this lecture, I'll be presenting some incredible magic along with the real work on how to be a real performer in the real world. I'll be sharing my technique to get the audience on your side in literally three seconds. With this method, your performance will be a lot more fun and heckle-free, I promise. I'll also provide some valuable info on how my showing magic has kept me in constant demand in NYC. Because I've made it there, I can teach you to make it anywhere. All that and a whole lot more. I start things off with a shock and awe. This is the back mode of my strolling and magic castle act. It's practical, it's powerful, it's simple to follow, and it sets the stage for the party. This routine and the coin routine that follows are the two routines I used to win the IBM strolling title some years back. Basically, every woman at the table gets a chance to find her own named card in successively more amazing ways. Time matching within any card in any number of facts where one woman wins a Mercedes Benz, and I win the crowd. Could have said three, could have said 10 hearts, could have said 49. But it was two of spades, 31, for an amazing number. And the numerous said he's got trouble, 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 trouble. Hit it right over there, do it. Two of spades, two of spades, three of spades. I, I don't think I can say it enough. Okay. It's the best work I've ever seen. And most important, you're making the spectators the stars. Yeah. Yeah. They are the ones that are successful. Next up is my coin routine, made up of two parts, through and through and over and under. This is a really visually stunning, oh my god, you got to see this coin magic barrage. That's just my go-to favorite routine. Through and through is a hyper-visual coin through table that just melts people's brains. All four coins, right through the table. Cool. Over and under is my version of Dean Dill's coins and napkin, which is just the prettiest trick I've ever seen. Hold on. That's it. When it flutters, is when it flies. One, two down. Who's smart, guys? Okay, two and two, two and two. Long distance, Josh. When you say go, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, that was sloppy. Oh, God. You saw that? You saw that? So, all right, all right. I'll do it again, Josh. I'll do it again. Oh, I'll be up over here, Josh. I'll do my job over here. Following that is Sponge Game and Pro Bowl. Easily one of the most engaging and fun strolling sets you've ever seen for kids. The set starts off with a copper-silver type routine by Scott Strain and finishes with my handling of Daniel Cross's Pro Poodle effect, which will make every little kid your buddy. Up next is my totally turbocharged version of the Sponge Bunny routine. That's an act into itself. You're going to learn not only one of the greatest effects you can do in close-up magic, but more importantly, why this routine can endear you to your audiences like no other routine you can do and keep them coming back over and over again. I want to make this point very, very solid for everybody that's watching this that thinks they're too cool for the bunnies. No, no, the bunnies are too cool for you. <laughs> you haven't committed to the bunnies. Next is Songstone's Abra Viagra. This is my presentation for an overlooked impromptu masterpiece that you will use. Basically, the effect is that you put a cup over a cork and either the cork stands up or it doesn't based on what the audience does. If they're a nice kid at Christmas time, it stands up. If they're naughty, not so much. Also at the bar with the adults, you can have a whole other range of fun with it, I promise you. It's a hoot. Following that is an effect I call Dropbox. Okay, fuller alert, I've got a pretty sneaky control in there that just might blow by you. I've also got an attainable palm technique that you've got to not see to believe. And I'm proud to say that a lot of card guys have called it among the best there is. Paint it. Seriously? Did I say under the box? Yes. I meant in the box. Oh, well, all the rest of that. Is that it? Oh, there it is. At was the that it? Card. We got it? Yes. All right, we got it, baby. Finally, I'm showing my new strolling version of my Magic Castle Closer, Strolling Superhero. It's a multiple selection routine where five different spectators help me find five chosen cards with the various superpowers of five different superheroes. If you've ever struggled to find an engaging theme for multiple selection routine, this one will do it faster than a speeding bullet. This whole lecture is literally a big chunk of my working repertoire, affected over thousands of performances, and I think the advice alone can save you years of struggle and figuring things out on your own. This is how you get bookings, guys. I, I stand out with this stuff. And that's not all. Dan and I really dug deep on tons of other topics that I think you're going to love. It. Not, not just tricks, but these are, these are real things that uh, can be applied yeah. no matter who you're performing for. Yeah. And right now, these dark days, these dark hours, the virtual shows you're doing, do them. People need this, man. You know, yeah. sometimes we... No, honestly, this is what our uh, business is about. You it's know? our superpower, too. Yeah. We matter, guys. Yeah. People need us. Well, all right. They really do. But, but yeah. really, you know, it, it comes down to kindness, giving a gift, and being present for people who need happiness in their life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This whole idea of everybody uh, having a good time,
being empowered, uh, being able to forget a little bit about life's pressures and just enjoy this amazing mystery that we're creating uh, and empowering them at the same time. I, I, I love it. I think it's a, an important message. I hope that people watching this uh, get that. And thank you so much for bringing all of this to us. I'm Will Fern. This is My Penguin Life.